So what's up guys, Wild High 77 here for another Press A Gaming exclusive. This time we're looking at Star Trek Online. As you can see, this is the PS4 edition and I have played a little bit of it. I've gotten up to level nine, Lieutenant, with the original series type characters. This is an interesting uh, uh, MMORPG that is a free download on both the Xbox and PS4. Obviously not cross-platform, but I figured we would start a new character and actually do a little bit of a Let's Play. This will, this series will go on until I think it's done going on. Uh, like most MMORPGs, it'll eventually get boring or tire out or get repetitive. So, we're gonna go ahead and start. We're gonna choose our faction. Of course, I'm gonna be uh, Starfleet. Do I want to be the original? No, the original series I'm already doing, so I think we'll just go with current Starfleet. Now you can choose between Human, Andorian, Majoran. Uh, Benzi, Betazoid, Bullion, Ferengi, Packled. Right, Jillian. Sarian. Tellarite. Trill, they actually give you a good collection of characters you can play as. Vulcan. Or just alien. I guess a generic alien. We are obviously going to be human. And we will be a tactical officer. I prefer my character to be a little bit more combat oriented. Alright, we will take a look at some hair styles here. Oh yeah, bald is definitely for me. Uh, almost. Let's see what other choices we got here. I think I will go with that one. Alright. Uh, R2 coloring. Skin color is fine. Color will go a little bit dirty blonde. Right, there we go. Now we'll go down the body stance. So far, not seeing the difference. We'll go, no, that's a little too relaxed. We'll go with some swagger. We're confident in ourselves. Six foot one's fine. Uniform, let's do the uniforms. Uh, go classic. That's a little interesting. I like that uniform. That's kind of neat in its own right too. But I think I'll go with classic movie. Alright. Now I'll take a look at advance for anything. Mm, that's good enough. Continue. Captain's name. This will be... Lord Cook. Yes, uh, DC Lori. Actually, there 
There we go. Actually, yeah, okay. I see what's going on here. There we go. Done. First name. Christopher. Michael. And the ship, this is gonna be the interesting one. What do we want our ship to be called? Now, in my normal game, I think I might do the exact same thing. We will call it the Realm Mist. And engage. Wait a minute. Huh. I guess the names are too long. Okay. <laughs> Not enough spaces for all those letters, I take it. All right, so this is our character. We are set to go. We are stepping into the world of Star Trek. Next generation area. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged the campaign of peace. Live long. Twenty-one years ago, the star of the Hoba system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. Oh, boom boom. The Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. Craziest freaking uh, creatures you could ever see. The fate face. of the galaxy rests in your hands. All right, and it's just great to hear the late, great Leonard Nimoy. Talk to our friend here, Alicia. Finally, expert. I was talking about everything you forgot what today was. How could I? You reminded me every day for the past month. Did you get your assignment? Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Rasky is just ahead. 
He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the astrometrics with him. Okay. So we talked to one friend, and now we got to walk and talk to our second friend here. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final, and for all the other times you helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? I haven't received my assignment yet. Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farron and get your assignment, you should find Tavral. She wanted to talk to you. She's... Everybody wants to talk to me. Alright, from here we gotta locate her. Trying to find an indicator on the uh, map. Which thus far I don't see. I'm not allowed in here. Bunch of random cadets. Wait a minute. Well, I can uh, chat with these guys. Nope, okay. Can look a little faster. Just farther up ahead this way. Academy, cadets, cadets. Places I'm not allowed in. Interesting architecture though. What the hell were the two? Oh. Alright, I don't know what it was giving me indicators for, but whatever. Fuck, gotta remember where she is. I think the intro is actually different on, on the next generation style game than it is for like the original series. I think you're already on the ship and not a cadet. Actions happens here. Ah, uh, no. Primary mission. No, I don't want to hail Starfleet. What? Doesn't really show me. Oh, there we go. Now I got a little indicator. I don't know why that indicator wasn't up before. That's what I was looking for, was my little directional arrow. Wonder how mad they would be if I walked across the grass like this. Right, apparently she's right here. Greetings. As he said, you want had something to sell me? It was... Good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. Oh god, now I gotta go talk your to somebody. Your shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the minimap if you are far away from your objective. Good to know. There you are! Didn't I Getting excited to you? yet? Once we finish our training cruise, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Thanks. Alright, now we go to get our assignment from Lieutenant Farah. Who apparently is over in the place that I think I already was. <laughs> hey. Alright, now we locate Lieutenant Farah. 
You're looking Good at Good afternoon, there. cadet. What can I do for you? Is this where I get my training cruise assignment? Yes. I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Christopher Michael Lord Cook. Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Tiger. He's in the office behind me. Is there a problem? You're going to have to ask him. Alright, well, you're friendly. Thank you. Objects you can interact with have a glow around them. Press the X button to interact with the doorbell to notify Captain Taggart of your presence. Alright, Captain. What kind of hell are you gonna give me? Cadet. You asked to see me, sir? I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy. And I must say, I'm impressed. Thank you, Captain. I'm just looking at your final test scores. But I don't see your results for the advanced phase of training program. I know that program is advised for tactical officers, sir. Many of my classmates didn't take the test either, Captain. Is that, is that an issue? I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program. And I want to see good results. No exceptions. Did you say senior staff? I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Your tactical officer, sir? Who is that? Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. I'll tell Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, Cadet. Yes, sir. Alright, so now we go run and meet Flores in the quad. I'm wondering if it's... Flores is a familiar name. I got the tactical officer spot. Just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? Captain Taggart says he wants me on the senior staff, but I have to pass advanced phaser training first. You never did that? I thought you were Mr. Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Now you tell me. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Either way. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Good to know. Come on. Have you that seen hard. the whales in San Francisco Bay? I've never seen to spot them. I sometimes forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. To sprint, press and hold the left stick. Last one of the console buys the first round tonight. <laughs> I guess I'm buying the first round. Wait a minute, we don't have money here. If I if I know my uh, Star Trek lore. Setting up the training program now. I hope Holodeck 2 is your lucky Holodeck. Have any advice for me? I want to pass this. Shoot stuff, don't die. Pretty basic, really. What kind of tactics should I expect? It's standard stuff. The program runs a variation on Mako Assault Training. You're setting up the program? Are you making it easy for me? The last time I tried to give someone a little help, I ended up on academic probation for the rest of the year. I'm not saying I haven't learned a few tricks since then, though. I'll need a favor. Phasers are in the lockers by the holodecks. You can grab one there. Let's go. Press left to scan the area. Your tricorder will point you toward your nearest objective. Left. Aha. That's cute. Never seen that before, but that's cute. Alright, forward to that. There it is. The Got pistol a phaser. Has been automatically equipped. Alright, and then I'm going to Hollow Deck 2. Move to the straight ahead. Of the room. Begin program. Press the R2 button to fire your weapon in combat. While in combat, certain actions are disabled. Once you drop out of combat, more detail about 
ground combat will become available. Alright, now, add in the holodeck program. How do I do that? End simulation. Captain Taggart, well met done, me. You're not going to break the Academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. Thank you, Captain. Do you have an assignment for me now? Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Congratulations. First officer, sir? Yes. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, Cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. Thank you, sir. It'll be an honor serving with you. I'm so honorable. Alright, now I gotta talk to, uh, Flores. First officer, way to go. Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. <laughs> hey, what can I say? The captain sees greatness in me. Don't let it go to your head, buddy. I won't. You'll do great. But we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. Alright, let's go. Shuttle bay. Okay, all of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. Alright, alright. As I still walk with a with a phaser in hand. There we go. Let's let's not have a uh, lead a toast. Inspire the cadets. We have we are the senior staff of the USS Realm Mist. Each and every one of us has trained for the task at hand. Are we? And we are ready. To get a heart. I have the utmost faith in each of you. You're the best that the, the Academy has, and together we could do anything, galvanized the cadets. <clears throat> but we will go forth boldly like Starfleet has trained us, putting to use everything we have learned here. To Starfleet Academy, to the USS Realm Mist, and her crew, raise a glass, to, uh, glass to, for the class of 2409. All cadets, please board your shuttles. Alright, now that we had our little drink, we board the shuttle to our ship. Are you ready to head to the ship? Let's go. Tutorial over. Now we get the business at hand. I don't know why he's applauding. The shuttle took off. Yay, I was worried about it. I really wish they would put a, a Star Wars online we're finally on doing this. console. Oh, look at that! The USS Vesta, the first of her class. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. She's I pretty. Can't wait to Captain One. But Pretty. here's our ship. <laughs> Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, warp 5 point nothing. She's a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. She is kind of reliant class, I think. If I remember my uh, my lore correctly. I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. Later. Alright, so I gotta go check in. Name and position? Cadet Christopher Michael Lord Cook, acting first officer. I have your record right here, sir. Welcome to the ship. Where's the captain? Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use the turbo lift behind me. It will take you directly there. All right, thank you. 
I will slightly jog to the bridge. All right, on to the bridge and to the captain. Welcome to the bridge, number one. Number one? Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. But first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors, then disable the tractor moorings. Uh, Tavel, get clearance from traffic control for the realm mist to leave the gantry. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Very good, number one. Flores, send signal to close the shuttle bay doors. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Very good, number one. Potter, wait for me to disable the tractor moorings. Which I do from here. I release the tractor beams. Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. Captain, may, may I remind you that Starfleet regulations space specify thrusters only while in the vicinity of space dock. Just checking to see if you were paying attention, number one. Potter, take us out. Maximum thrusters. To sit, press the X button while targeting the chair you wish to sit in. <laughs> yes, I had to be taught how to sit in a chair. They're very thorough in their training at Starfleet. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. Boom. Yay, we went warp. Captain. I am picking up a distress call from the SS Break Even. Audio only. Let's hear it, Tavro. This is the Break Even. Can you hear me? So, our workforce is failing? We could really use some help here. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room, prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the Break Even. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrell. Number one, let's discuss the situation. Yeah, we only got three minutes to do it. You heard the distress call, number one. What do you think we should do? Is this a test, sir, part of the training crew? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break-even, so it's our duty to assist. It's strange that the transmission was audio only. A warp core emergency shouldn't affect communications. Good. What do you advise? Uh. Shields up, sir. Better be safe than sorry. Raising the shields does seem to be a reasonable precaution. Yes, sir. It could be a trap. I agree. Flores, raise shields. Number one, get down to the transporter room. You'll oversee the rescue effort from there. Alright. Off I go to... a turbo lift. Transporter deck. It's funny how all these areas have a deck, not just... The break-even should be in range. Give me an update. Getting some weird readings. Uh, I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Klingons! This vessel is now property of Captain Kader of the IKS Chunk. Whoa. They're attacking my buddies. Rock, come in. What happened? Rock! Rock! Stop! Right. Security is reporting disruptive fire in the transporter room. And Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. They're boarding us. What can I do to help? You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security team members you find. What about the enemy ship, sir? We still have weapons. I'll do what I can. 
For now, I need you to concentrate on getting those Klingons off my ship. Tag us out. Yes, sir. What's up, guys? And our command code. Go to the armory locker in this room and interact with it to get a better weapon. You need to equip your phaser rifle. To do so, press the options button and select the captain option under the ship and crew heading. This is your character. Here you can see. Select the item in the list you wish to include. You can also view your ship's equipment as well as the We got it. Press the triangle button to switch between your two equipment weapons. Already did. An object has dropped for you. Move near the item and it will be automatically added to your inventory. What item? Okay, good to know that I picked up a hypo spray. Bye! Ah. Telling your captain that you abandoned ship. Wow, you haven't died yet. You have... Crack is good. He's cracking. So that's security. Alright, we got those all clear. I gotta go here and then I gotta talk to the captain. Number one, we're doing our best to cripple this Klingon Marauder, but I need your help. Time to show off, that's the kind of training. I know how to improve the ship's weapons. Sometimes missions specialized in your career class are available. Clears those guys. Press the right stick to crouch. Crouching gives a defensive bonus against ranged attacks, but increases damage from melee attacks. Come on. I need you guys to die. Do not walk in the line of fire, dude. Breach the door. Tactical weapons. Forward phasers. And the aft phasers. Number one, we've got injured up here and the Klingons could send a boarding party at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Sir. Go see to the bridge. We will secure this area. You do that, I'm on my way. The hell the training crews, this ship got its ass beat in the first second. Going to the bridge. Shit.
proceeded to cling on boarding party. What am I expected to do? Tended a wounded bridge crew. You're not one of them. You're one. That's one. And Savelle, you're two. Incoming transmission from the Klingons. On screen. This is Captain Kayak of the IKS Chart. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. You have no hope of finding us or defeating us. Your choice is simple. Surrender, or we will kill your captain and then destroy your ship. Never! Perhaps your captain will change your mind. Captain? Come on, I only got to be first officer for like an hour. That's some fucked up shit right there. Let me just sit there and we contemplate have a minute. Lock, Captain. Fire. Blip. There he is. And now we go into actual space combat if I'm not a uh not mistaken. We've lost their signal. What now? What now? What do we do now? Speak to Elise Flores. Thank you. We... We survived. But the captain... Captain Taggart knew what happened. And he gave the order anyway. Ultimate sacrifice. One that we all might be called to make some He trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive. And remember. All right, time for me to take my seat in my ship now, bitch. Let's see what we do from here. is now your bridge officer. Bridge officers add abilities to your ship in space and accompany you on away missions on the ground. Well, I'm not going to change character names. Talk to first officer. All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage, but some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. Trevelle, send out a distress call. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. Keep trying. Eliza, what's the status of the Klingon ship? She's still cloaked, but I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Zarva, damage report. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the system back online. What about the even break? Hail them, Terrell. Hailing the break even now, Captain. Or break even. USS Break Even, this is a Starfleet vessel, USS Realm Mist. What is your status? Well, this is awkward. You're angry. I can see that. Understandable. Before this gets too carried away, hear me out. I had to send that distress signal. My options were limited while a Klingon was pointing a disruptor at my head. The Klingons were thorough. They even damaged my warp drive to make things look convincing. I'll never make it to safety on impulse. Don't suppose you could lend me a hand here? I'd uh, rather not be around if the Klingons come back. I'll see what we can do. Press up to decrease your ship speed. 
Press down to decrease your ship speed. Use the left stick to pitch downward or upward, as well as to turn left or right. Come on, get to where I need to go. I'm assuming I'm moving Hill, to the full break. Stop. I've stopped us this time, sir, but from now on, you'll be responsible for adjusting the speed of the ship. Okay. Well, we're gonna scan the ship. Looks like she just needs three or four warp induction coils. We have plenty of those to spare. Position yourself near the ships and press the X button to interact with them. Thanks. And good luck with the Klingons. They all need it. I'm sure. Talk to well, first officer. Looks like we're on our own. At least they said thank you, I guess. About that cloaked ship full of Klingons? Sarva, do you have it in that damage almost report? Almost done, Captain. Level 2 diagnostic shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Do we have replacements? Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite the beating, but I think the Klingons specifically sabotaged them when they boarded us. It's an easy way to cripple a ship. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to war. Any ideas? We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here. There's wreckage all over this region. I can scan the derelicts and see if any of them have intact plasma injectors. Do it. Alright, so we gotta go around and scan for parts. I'm assuming that's one of the ships I gotta go scan. And I'm also expecting to run into Klingons eventually. I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Press the R2 button to fire energy weapons. An item has dropped for it. Move towards the item to automatically loot it. Taking through scraps we've left behind. Yeah. That guy's getting annoyed. Flying around to try to get to it. Sometime this year. Close enough. These plasma injectors will do the trick, sir. Or just technology. <coughs> By par, if I had to guess. 3.7 liter flow with shielded reservoirs and a drop flow induction coil converter and. That's uh, good, but remember the Klingon who wanted us dead? I need you to work fast. You have your problems, I have mine. I'll need some time to get everything installed and run a level 1 diagnostic. We don't want to blow up the moment we hit warp one. <laughs> Melissa, give me a status report. Sarah was dealing with the warp corp, but until she's done, we're still stranded out here with no way to call for help. Oh, don't forget the cloaked Klingon battle cruiser. It's probably making repairs faster than we are. Any chance we can determine what's jamming communications in the system? Of course we can. We're the class of 2409. Tavrell has been working with the engineers, and they've pinpointed the locations of several Klingon signal jammers. That's what blocked our communications during the ambush. I, I recommend that we destroy the jamming satellites. We'll be able to get a call out to Starfleet then. Sounds good. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Use your plasma beam to weaken shielded targets. Ship is under attack. Target shield has failed. <laughs> Communications are operational, sir. 
Shall I send the distress signal? Sending distress signal. That Klingon ship took some real damage. I'll bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find them. Give me a second, guys. Had a text message to respond to. Do it. We have to find him before he ambushes us again. Understood. I'd rather not die to Klingons on my first day. Got it. I can trace the plasma signature right to the source. Finally, we have an advantage. I'll send the source of the plasma signature to navigation. It will show up on the map. All right, make it so. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. All right, well, let's I do that. I can't make your death swift. Hold up on the D-pad to activate and deactivate full impulse. Multiple birds of prey to cloaking. Oh. Where? Oh. Thank you for the follow, man. I truly appreciate it. And up here, where is he? Am I supposed to scan? You guys see on the map, I'm right here. Want me to do? I am literally over top where you told me to be. Your ship is out there with 
Am I supposed to sit through this tutorial? Really? There. Tutorial's done, now what? Am I supposed to fly around here looking for a target? Hey, I appreciate the like for my activity, brother. I'm a little confused on what they want me to do here. They want me to go this way? Showing me I really don't get what they want. I am literally right in the vicinity of what they want. But dude's not showing up. I'm not sure what they want me to do. Sarva needs more time to get the plasma injectors installed. Try not to break anything else. All right, let's play. Put some distance between yourselves and exploding ships. Talk to first officer. Incoming transmission, sir. It is from Starfleet. On screen, Travel. This is Captain Nog of the USS Chimera. Do you require assistance? Yes, sir. We uh, we were ambushed by Klingon marauders. Pretty bold move to come this far into Federation territory, even for Klingons. Where is Captain Tagger? He was captured and taken to the Klingon ship. They killed him after he ordered us to fire on his position. And did you follow his orders? Yes, sir. I see. And you're the acting captain. Yes, sir, I am. Right. Well done, Cadet. Looks like your ship is in need of repairs. Set a course for Earth Space Dock. We'll get you back in one piece. What about the Klingon who killed Captain Taggart, sir? Kadek is still out Believe there. Believe me, Cadet. If he comes back looking for a fight, he'll get one. In the meantime, set a course for our position. Chimera out. Yes, sir. Answer hail is done. And apparently, they're not that far away from us. There they are. Let's keep speed up. We're coming in range. are Captain Nog. Oh, oh shit. No, don't kill my little body. Oh, we gotta we gotta go help. Continue. And yes, we want him there. Cool. So, investigate what happened to the USS Kittimer. Exit the sector space. I guess they repaired our warp drive.
Guess they were nice enough to repair our warp drive. That's good to know. And now we are out in full view space of the map. We're here, Captain. The USS Kittimer is dead ahead, and the Renown is beside us. Our orders are to make contact with the Kittimer and find out why they've not responded to our hails. Very good, said the course for Kittimer. Do it. Now we got somebody to. Let's cut through the static, boost the signal. Yes, sir. I will require approximately 15 seconds to make the necessary adjustments. Understood. Ah, Captain Volar. Captain Tagger? What are you both doing here? I'm in command of the Realm Mist, Captain Nog. Ordered me to come with him to your location. Always good to follow the orders of your superior officers. Do you know what happened with your communication? The cadets were ambushed by Klingons. Captain Tagger was killed in the attack, and the ship is under the command of this cadet. The Chimera was escorting them back to Earth's space dock, but when we couldn't contact you, I decided to alter course and investigate. What's the situation here, Captain Neal? I'm troubled by the anomalies in this system, and if they're affecting long-range communications, then they're doubly a cause for concern. Let's do this by the numbers. We've already launched nine probes. Now that they're active, we can do an in-depth scan of the anomalies. With all three ships collecting data, we should be able to complete this quickly and formulate a course of action. The Renown has the largest science team, so I recommend we send our data there for analysis. Any questions? No questions, sir. All right, so we go here first. Press right on the D-pad to set your ship's power levels to have a focus on attack, defense, auxiliary, or speed. I already did. I like where my shit is. Thank you, though. It's getting close. Close enough for my scan. Come on. Slow and steady wins the race. Scanning Alpha. Reports indicate traces of gamma radiation, but there's something off in the readings. I think way too long to get there. Kittimer here. Are you seeing the same gamma radiation levels that we are? I'm not sure that a normal scan will be enough. We might need to do a full multiphasic reading. Uh, we saw the same issue. How can we improve our findings? My chief science officer, Commander Davis, suggests that performing a reverse tachyon pulse wave scan will solve our sensor issue. Perform your final scans and then report back. Understood. Deflector dish is realigned for a reverse tachyon pulse wave, sir. Picking up a transwarp signature. It's right on top of us! The Borg! The Borg? Oh shit! Not okay with the Borg showing up.
This is the emergency medical hologram aboard the USS Kittimer. I am requesting assistance from any Federation vessel in range. I've lost contact with the bridge. I am unable to contact Commander Davis for new instructions. EMH, give me a situation the report. The Kittimer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. These Borg are different than the ones in my history records. They seem disconnected somehow. They're strange, but still quite dangerous. Can you hold out on your own? We have problems of our own to deal with. I am an emergency medical hologram, not a miracle worker. Captain Nog, what should we do? The Borg did some serious damage on the Kittimer. The EMH might be in command because no one else is fit to do so. I don't like this. The Borg haven't been seen in this quadrant for decades. This isn't a coincidence. We need the data from those probes. What do you need us to do? All send teams to aid the Kittimer. I want you to finish the scans. We need to know the extent of the Borg presence here. And Cadet, if you or your crew are unable to tackle this, speak up now. The Borg can rattle veteran Starfleet officers and you've already gone up against the Klingons today. I trust my crew will get the job done. Right, right off the bat, I'm expected to go. Somewhere close by over here. There it is. I got it, I'm going. Gotta remember, I'm flying an old rust bucket. But we got it. As soon as we're close enough to get a status scan. It should be in a few seconds. There it is. Probably gonna pop out some more board. Transmit data. Your data and our science team is analyzing it now. What is the status of the Kittimer? Our tactical teams have eliminated the Borg boarding parties on the Kittimer. Why do you ask? Can we use the Kittimer to help analyze the data? There's an 88.47% chance that you will need my help. <laughs> Agreed. Can you help the Chimera analyze the data we've uh, accumulated in this system? I have 75 million gigaquads of computer memory and an extensive library of files on military tactics and command strategies. I believe I can spare a few bits of processing power for you. Let's see what we can determine. Something tells me I don't want to be too far away from the ships. Yep, call that. This is what I like about uh, Star Trek Online. This actual space battle. Although it'd be better if my skip to turn a little faster. Turns like a pig. The board ship, so we fun. We got him. You are Starfleet officers. You were prepared for this. Yes, we Multiple are. Multiple board warp signatures detected. Oh shit. There's no way we 
Yet somehow we are expected to do this. everything going on. Okay, turn around, come on. Alright, one, you're gone. Oh, we defeated him. Okay, Cadet, here's how I see it. The Borg are using the Pollux system as a staging area. Our long-range sensors are picking up inbound transform signatures. Their most likely target is the Vega system. There is a civilian colony there, and if the Borg take it by surprise, they'll have a large population to turn into drones. Alright, what is our, uh... The realm is should go to the Vegas, uh... Go to Vega to warn the colonists. Agree. The Chimera is better equipped to hold off the Borg and assist the Kidmer here. Once you've warned the colony, return to Earth's space dock. Understood. We'll set course for Vega. We have to make our way to Vega as soon as we can, Captain. I just hope we're not too late to warn the colony. Are you ready to go? Let's go. All right, we just took on the Borg on our first day of work, guys. Shields up. Red alert. Yeah, we left and right off the bat for destroying both ships. Ooh, that's not a good thing. All right. Hell, Nog, the report. You need to warn the Vega colony about the Borg. We'll do what we can to hold off the Borg here and repair the Kittimer. Good luck. Continue. Congratulations. You are now in sector space. Travel at warp speed between systems. I am Combat now lieutenant and I've got Travel as my next person to travel. Auto navigate. Let's get there. Alright, we're traveling there. We are on our way. We're gonna keep going. We're doing pretty good. I'd say. While we're at it, let's take a look at Captain. Or not, skills. Captain skills. Cannot purchase free west quit. No, I don't have anything yet. Surprising for the fact that I'm. How do I find out what level I am? Lieutenant 2, okay. Take this, yeah, Vegas system, here we go. We arrived before the Borg. Now my heart can start beating again. What are your orders, Captain? Hail the cop. That was strange. Tavrell managed to establish a comm link with Willa Post. The administrator I don't know of why Vega my calling. controller decided to shut it's off on It's not me. a great signal, but it's the best we're going to get. Putting her through now. On screen. Greetings, Captain. Is there something I can do for you today? The Borg are on their way to the system. You need to start evacuating. Repeat, Your signal is breaking up. Did you see the Borg? What about... The Borg are on their way, Mayor. You have to evacuate. Tom, what just happened? I have lost contact with Vega Colony, sir. Something is blocking all subspace signals in this area. Even our hails to the civilian ships are not getting through. There is a communication satellite nearby, 
It should boost our signal sufficiently to inform the freighters of the danger and warn the colony. Alright, set a course to the satellite. are still blocked, sir. The Borg may be attempting to isolate the planet before they land. Your order, sir. Sorry, but can we get a transporter lock on the colonists? The Borg are jamming up any remote signals. It's not safe to beam through that. I think I can boost the game, though. Hurry, I think the Borg will be here any... Transwarp conduits opening all over the system, Captain. The Borg are here. Well, let's make sure they don't stay around long. Those civilian ships are right in the Borg's path. We have to help them. Care which one we get to, just get to them. the force, that's good. Captain, I have short range communications. Long range signals are still blocked. I can contact the planet and have informed Administrator Post of the situation. However, the Borg have already landed and are moving toward the colony. It may be more prudent to retreat back to the Chimera, sir. We make our stand here, Cadet. Look for any more Borg landing parties. Borg landing craft detected nearby. Captain, there are civilian ships engaging them. Well, let's make sure they've got some backup. Civilian ships, you are ordered to disengage and retreat. We will cover you. Vega Colony. Captain, the Borg have landed, and the colony won't be able to hold them off for long. I recommend beaming down to Vega and getting as many people out as we can. Let's do it, beam down. 
Uh, only two people? All right, fuck it. Let's do it. If two's all we got, then two's all we need. Let's do it. Captain, according to our readings, over half the planet is already assimilated by the Borg. At the rate they're progressing, the region we're in will be overrun in roughly one hour. And if that wasn't bad enough, the interference is affecting the ship's transporters. Understood. We will manually tag any survivors we, survivors we find for transport. Any questions? No, sir. I'll follow your lead. Let's get moving. And I think I want my actual, yeah. That's one of those warp ships from orbit. Too late? Those landing ships don't just carry drones. Oh, they can pop nanoprobes directly into the ground and the atmosphere. Beam them out. We need to hurry. The Borg will be in this area soon. Bye. A shot at the civilians. <laughs> That's Starfleet protocol right there. Fire first. Fuck it. Civilians. Yay! Everybody's happy to see us. Am I not gonna... Thank you. We didn't know if anyone from Starfleet got our distress signal, and we don't have any weapons. But we do have some spare armor suits for you and your officer. They're in the crates next to the gate. This code will open the gate. Please, Administrator Post and some of the others are still there. You have to save them. Take the armor from the gate. Great, we'll do that. What the crates? Bye. Increase supplies. Take all. All right, now I believe I gotta actually equip them. All right, she's with me, so she needs one. Alright, we're equipped. Now I'm supposed to enter a code over here. Let's do it. Oh no. Four. We're too late. God damn, assimilation didn't take long at all. Billions, beam them. Good, they're out, they're out. Actual drones, other drones. I don't want to be a Borg either. Alright, they're out. Ouch. Out civilians, get them out of here. Sure, uh, probably not tonight, but yeah, definitely. Uh, if you want to send me a friend request, I'll more than happily uh, join up with you in future quests. Alright, 
talk to the administrator. We made it to her. I apologize for Kole's putting a rifle in your face. If it wasn't for him, the board would have assimilated me by now. What's the situation? Are you bringing more Starfleet? Whoa, what the fuck? I apologize for Kole's putting a no rifle in No idea what the hell that glitch was about. If it wasn't for him, the board would have assimilated me by now. What's the situation? Are you bringing more Starfleet reinforcements? We're the only ones here. The Realm Mist is in orbit. I see. And it's true. Vega is doomed. A single starship cannot hope to stop this. Still, there is more to do. Many citizens are hiding in their homes. We cannot abandon them to the Borg. We can rescue them, but something is blocking our transport. Coles and I have been trying to get around the interference field. Thank you for tagging the people you found and getting them safely transported to your ship. That can't be everyone. No, there are dozens more hiding in the buildings, but Kolas and I have a plan. We think a pattern enhancer will do the trick. With that, we can transport the remaining citizens to your ship. But first, I'd like to offer you some equipment. Vega is... was a trade colony, and this gear was intended to go to Starbase 65. I think you need it more. Yeah, my thanks. I'll retrieve the equipment and then set up the pattern enhancer. So now we have a new job here. First off, we, we take the supplies. Take all. You have received a kit appropriate to your profession. Press the options button and open your inventory under the ship and crew heading. Select the kit in your inventory to equip it. With a kit equipped, you will have new abilities that you can perform in ground combat. That's all ship stuff. There it is. Got it. You now have additional abilities in ground combat. Oh, what the hell is this shit? Alright, we got it. We have lowered shields for the transporter, sir. I will need to raise them at the first sign of four ships. Okay, so I gotta go talk to her. Pattern enhancers are working. Too soon. I can hear the board moving this way. I need you to signal citizens to come here for transport. I'll do that. How long do you think you can hold off the Borg? As long as we need to. Give the signal. Remember when we thought fighting a crazed Klingon was the worst thing that could happen today? Jesus. Good thing I had that tactical training. Another group of civilians has beamed to the ship, Captain. Keep me going. Luckily, they're all coming from one spot. Jesus. But there is a lot of them coming. Alright, 88% of the Borg, we got more. Answer hail for my ship, I guess we cleared it. Hang in there, Travel. We'll be there soon. Mayor, thank you for your thank support. Thank you for everything you've done. 
Even though it was impossible to save everyone, those you did save will be forever in your debt. I'm not finished yet, Colts. You're with me. Glad to do anything I can. I was born on Vega. There's no way I'm sitting by and letting the board take it without a fight. Alright, let's get moving. Alright, Coles, you're gonna see friends who've been assimilated. Don't hesitate. Alright, let's open the gate. Oh shit. Borg? Borg. Cleared that shit. More board. Surprisingly, the one thing they didn't do accurately with the board was uh not that I want them to. Um They did not make them uh where we have to constantly change uh Weapon frequencies and shit because they uh, they adapt. We are the Borg. Resistance is futile. The Borg are activating the transport inhibitor. We need to disable that force field. Okay, well, the only way we're going to be able to do that is by going and doing it. The Borg are so... what's the word? Effective? Systematic? Evil. I'm going to go with evil. Come on, one zero one. We can play. The ship is transporting anyone they can get a lock on, Captain, but we don't have much time. We need to get back as soon as possible. All right, well, let's beam out. Let's get out of here. We're packed to the brim with civilians, Captain. I don't think we could fit one more soul on this ship. Communications are still jammed, so we can't reach the Renown or the Kittimer. The immediate problem is the civilian ships in this system. Vega's a huge trading outpost. There are always ships traveling here. We need to warn them the Borg have taken over. Can we reconfigure the satellites in the system to send out an automated warning? Possibly, but what we need to do is hightail it out of here with these civilians. Of course, the path to the satellites does lead away from the planet, so we could remotely reconfigure them as we leave. The message won't get very far, but anyone who enters the system will get the signal and be able to turn around before it's too late. Sounds like a solid plan, Helm, laying a course for the first satellite. Yeah, it looks like I'm moving towards the... the uh... Multiple probes inbound. I don't think the Borg like us hanging around.
that's done. And we're back to 100%. Imagining we're gonna run into a couple more as we leave. <laughs> Never thought I'd wish I was back at the Academy studying for the Astrometrics final. Beat the full forge sphere. I knew a sphere was going to be involved. Not who we think it is. Let's just hope it's not who we think it is. Holy shit! Morning. A cube? <laughs> yeah, this will be Guess easy. It's our time to go out Oh, thank God we have help. Glad to see you. There's no way we could have uh, defeated a cube by ourselves. You've been doing a great job so far. Reconfiguring the satellites into warning beacons <coughs> was excellent thinking, by the way. We received the signal as soon as we arrived in the system. That's going to save a lot of lives. Are we going to attempt to retake Vega? It, it's an option for sure. Right now, I need you to protect the civilians you have on board and ensure the safety of your crew. The Kittimer will return to Earth space dock with you. Once you arrive, report to Admiral Quinn. He'll have more information for you. Yes, sir. You and your crew have done well. Colas will make a fine addition to your senior staff. All right, so we gain more experience, gain more stuff, and we gain new crew members. Mola told us to get to Earth's space dock. Shit, I did not mean to skip that, but all right. So we are heading back to the Soul System for Space Dock, and that is pretty much where we will end this episode, guys. Uh, while we're loading up and getting ready to head back to the Soul Sector. Guys, I want to thank you very much for hanging out with me, and I hope you enjoyed this stream. 
Uh, I will be doing it more often. Again, it's an MMORPG, so there's no real plan of ending. It's obviously not going to be a full Let's Play because that, that, the game doesn't end. It's an MMO. But I will play it as long as there's missions and as long as there's interest in me playing it. The same as with Neverwinter, the same with Elder Scrolls Online. For the people watching on YouTube, as we're setting up for, I believe, a cutscene here. Oh, no, we're not. But we'll go talk to the person to get this out of the way. want me to talk to you. You're not who I want to talk to. I gotta find Admiral Quinn wherever he is. Oh, hello. This is a bar. Buy shit. Got, got it. Something I am not particularly interested in doing. I'm not allowed to walk through there. <laughs> Hi guys. Where would the Admiral be? Tell me where Admiral Quinn is? Oh, that's cool. Captain. Assignment officer. Commanding officer. Shows me where I am, that's cute. None of this shit helps. Um, supposed to talk to the Admiral, but it's not telling me where the Admiral is. So I guess I just gotta float around and hope. Beverly Crusher? Ah, how cute. Are you a player? No way I can invite you to team. Ah. Oh, there's my indicator. Now I get an idea. Uniform supply. I don't need uniform. Alright, so... There we go, now it's giving me the indicator. Oh wow. That's the first time I've ever seen this shit. This is the Admiral, this is the Admiral. Greetings, Lieutenant. Admiral, sir, Chris Christopher Michael Lord Cook reporting. We have a lot to discuss, Cadet. 
It's Lieutenant, sir. Yes, I see that here in the report transmitted by Captain Nog. He granted you a field promotion to give you seniority over the rest of the active crew of your ship. As a cadet, you were assigned to an academy training cruise under Captain Mask Taggart, correct? Acting First Officer? Yes, sir, that is correct. I've read the reports. Facing off against Klingon raiders and a Borg invasion force within hours of leaving Starfleet Academy? Very unusual. In your own words, tell me what happened out there. Alright, well, this is what happened. That's quite the story. Yes, sir, it's all true. Don't worry. I have statements here from Captains Nog and Yim and Administrator Post from Vega <coughs> Company corroborating your story. All three of them cite your bravery and command skills, as well as you and your crew's willingness to put yourselves in harm's way to preserve the lives of others. I'm a Starfleet officer, sir. It's in the job description. And you're exactly the kind of officer Starfleet needs. I know your ship might not be the Enterprise, but I think you've proven yourself capable of sitting in her captain's chair. Sir? Under normal circumstances, it would take you years of work to get your own command. But these are not normal circumstances. We're at war with the Klingon Empire. The Borg have returned. I'm losing more trained officers and ships than I can spare. Ships we can build, but leaders with courage and honor? Those are harder to find. It's time to try something different. I need someone who can handle themselves in a crisis and get the best out of their crew. Even though you're young, I think you're that person. I hereby promote you to the rank of lieutenant and give you command of the ship. Don't disappoint me. You won't regret this, sir. Your orders? You will be assigned to the Klingon front. But first, you could use some new equipment for your ship. I have some improved consoles developed by the Starfleet Corps of Engineers. These consoles can be installed on your ship to improve its abilities. As you improve in rank, you will earn better consoles. Other ships you will command throughout your career will have space for many more. When you're done here, go see Durr's racks to customize your starship's appearance. Down here, go see Dura's racks to customize your star. Alright. Having my own ship seems highly irregular, Rapha. Oh, I'm not gonna read it, I thought he would read it for us. I've received a report there is a Bolian freighter that is overdue arriving at Earth Space Dock. It may need assistance. Please talk to Malcolm Sissel in the shipyard. He will have more information about the missing vessel than I do. Alright, your orders are to head out to Sector Space and find the Azura. I've already transmitted the ship's last known coordinates to your comm officer. Except... Exit. Alright, now... I want to improve my ship. I want to do it and remember to do it before it's over. That's a fleet officer. Security. The shuttle to Saturn will leave at zero eight thirty hours. Uh, nothing of what I want. What was it here? Captain Sulu. Tell me about your patrol missions. This ain't the same Sulu, he don't even look right. Oh, good to know. Something you guys can read on your own. I have important things I need to do. Commander Bolt, who... About training and ranks, correct? Very well, proceed. No, I don't have any questions about that. What I have questions about is who do I need to go to to uh, improve my ship and change its look and design? The shuttle to Saturn will leave at 0830 hours. Oh, he's my guy. Alright, cool. I don't need to change my clothes and shit. What's this? Access mail. have nothing okay that's cool even the mail still works here all right I know they want me to do that 
before I do, I gotta find... Somebody. Around here. You're not it. You it? Manage ship. Realm of the Mist. Shield battery. Weapons battery, that'll help. Tactical console. Which one's better? I think I'd rather the phaser damage. Right. Uh, she's not bad for a light cruiser. Well, they offer me a slot, but I don't think I have the... Nope. I change my ship's appearance. Okay, this is where I can buy shit, but I don't need anything really to buy. Customize ship. Customize starship. a little bit more badass. Yeah, I think I'll go with her. Alright. Um, Shit all cost money. Sleek. I want slate. Or future. I want future. Okay. was Will. Alright, from this point I think I could just... Oh, I can't warp. Alright guys, well I got to do my ship and all. That was definitely something I wanted to do. Which makes me a lot happier. Let me finish this up here. Sorry, I'm answering a text. That's what was what I was doing a minute. Alright, now that I did that, biggest thing is, is I've got to figure out I thought there was a way that I could just 
go to my ship. Well, let's pull up the... How do I go back to my ship? I guess I gotta go back to transporters. Beam down to Starfleet Academy. I don't want to go to the Academy. Requisitions. I don't want to go there either. Let's check over here. I can just go down to Starfleet Academy. I don't think that's where I'm supposed to go first, but maybe from the Academy I can actually beam up to my ship. One can hope, anyway. Looks like you're ready to go, Lord Cook. I'm looking forward to hearing about your accomplishments. I know you'll do the Academy proud. Good luck. Okay, that worked out well. <laughs> Just spreading my molecules all across the galaxy. trying to get to the academy. Where else I can go? Positions. Okay, what the fuck's going on here? How do I get to my ship? told me absolutely nothing. I don't want to go to Starfleet Academy. Shit I can play with over there. That's cute. I don't want to go to the academy. Alright, what are these things? 
Access Exchange. We're going to walk around until we find where we got to go. How do I get the Ryza? Back. Okay, nothing of interest there. Our fleet officers. How do I get a captain's yacht? Okay. Happy with her name. When you are ready to return to your ship, hold the X button to bring up your captain commands menu and select Return to Ship. You can find various ship services. When you are ready to return to Thank God, that's all I needed. Took forever for it to tell me, but we got it. All right. So that is where I'm going to end it, guys, on the bridge of my brand new ship. The Realm Mist. Made her a little bit more... A mm, little bit more. <laughs> You gotta, we gotta earn some uh, some credits or whatever to be able to buy a better ship. But for now, our ship is happily hanging. Warp the sector. All right, warp to sector space. And we are out, and it's an awfully uh, crowded area to be warping. But we are going to get to uh, where we got to head next. My friends sacrificed so much to secure peace with the Klingons. I bear the responsibility for the consequences to him and his crew. A thought that troubles me to this day. The hope was that this alliance would last forever. It did not. The Klingons have chosen war. The Federation is doing its utmost to protect its borders and the billions of innocents who call this space home. But I fear that this conflict may be our undoing. Well, we are going to uh, warp the hell out of here. Get to where we need to go. And while we're getting to where we need to go, that is where I will end the video. Guys, thank you very much for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this video in any capacity and definitely want to see more Star Trek online, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And while you're here, don't forget to also uh, check out all the other great Let's Plays from Press A Gaming as well as all the great podcasts of Realm Limits Entertainment. Two of the three major podcasts are back up and running in their new seasons, and the fourth one will be coming the beginning of September. So guys... Thank you very much for hanging out with me. To any ships in range, this is Dana Brott of the transport SS Azura. Please help. Warp core containment field down. Radiation flooding ship. Communications and life support failing. Cannot eject warp core. Need immediate evacuation and assistance. Please help us. All right. So it looks like I'm heading to that ship there. And it can't be that easy.
We are loading the SS Azora and starting stranded in space. To any ships in range, this is Dana Broth of the transport SS Azura. Please help. We're being pursued by Orion Raiders. Crew injured, taking heavy fire. Dropping out of warp near your coordinates. Need immediate evacuation and assistance. Please help us. Travel, keep tracking that distance signal, distress signal. Well, maybe I'll have to do this battle and wait till I get down to the surface to actually be able to stop. I don't want to stop in the middle of them shooting that ship. Although if I log out, I know nothing will happen to it. It's just the principle of walking away. Sir, sensors are picking up several light attack craft on an intercept course. We will need to deal with them before we can render aid to the SS Azura. All right, full power to shield helm. Let's take us within range. gonna lose, right? Got this. team report to the transporter room there we go this is where we're going to end the video right on the uh on the onset of jumping onto this ship so guys thank you for hanging out with me and i will catch you on the next wild high plays star trek online have a good night guys take it easy